Good morning, students. Take out your English textbook, Beehive, and uh, we shall continue with the chapter 5, The Snake and the Mirror, by Vaikum Muhammad Bashir. I hope you have gone through, I mean, you have read, on the day we have stopped up to paragraph number 7. What happened in paragraph number 7? Just to remind you that the snake has climbed onto the, up to the, shoulder of the doctor and he couldn't jump, couldn't tremble, that means couldn't shiver, couldn't cry out, couldn't make noise because he had become, he says, as if like a stone. He has turned to stone. Nowhere to go, door was open into the darkness and room was also surrounded by darkness except that light of the lamp, kerosene lamp was there and he sat there like a stone image in the flesh he says he was so much frightened you know when we are ex excessively frightened we can't move we can't shout and same thing happened with the doctor before going ahead i want to tell you that i remembered you all yesterday because you also might have seen someone had forwarded that in uh, maharashtra in one interior village somewhere in aurangabad side you know there is a village and in that village the snakes are a part of uh, the people's life. That means every family, every household is having more than one snake in the house. And even the small children are playing with the snakes. That video became viral. Even the small kids are playing with snakes and they are poisonous snakes, cobras and so on. And nobody does any harm. Neither the snake does any harm to the children or the grown-ups. Neither the people do any harm to the snake. And so they live together. Something unbelievable, but then I saw it in the video. Now, true or false, I do not know. You do the search, Google search and find out. And so I remember that even one snake, even reading about the snake, some of us, we get frightened. And imagine to play with a snake, something very great. Okay. Now, open your book to page number 58. And we shall continue with the paragraph number 8. Okay, follow the book. Paragraph number 8 I felt then the great presence of the creator of this world and this universe. God was there. Suppose I said something and he did not like it. I tried in my imagination to write in bright letters outside my little heart the words, O oh God. There was some pain in my left arm. It was as if a thick leaden rod. No, a rod made of molten fire was slowly but powerfully crushing my arm. The arm was beginning to be drained of all strength. What could I do? You see, it is but practical that when, when do we remember God? You know, the students will remember God previous to their exam, previously or during the exam time. That God, please remind me, help me to remember all that I studied this time. And people usually, generally, People, when they remember God more, is when they are faced with some difficulties, problems, challenges in life. Same thing happened to this doctor. When he knew that he could not do anything, you know, he became like a stone. And that time he feels the great presence of the creator of the universe who has created this universe. And who is the creator of the universe? God. And he felt God was there. And he said, suppose if I say something, God may not like it because he thought God is there very close to him. And he tried to write in his imagination outside the heart, Oh God, that means, Oh God means do something. I am in need of you. Help me. And now, you know, there was some pain in his left arm. Due to what? Because the snake was rolled, rolled in his left, left arm. And it was very heavy. And so he felt as if, uh, he felt, there was a pain and it was as if like what? Thick leaden rod. Leaden rod here, no made of, rod made of molten fire means with a metal, you know, metal which was, um, what to say, it was, uh, it was a molten fire means in the liquid metal. It was, it was very strong. With a fire it has come out. And so it was very, very strong like iron rod, okay? It, as if it was crushing his arm. Which arm it was? 
in his left arm and the arm was beginning to drain of all strength drain of all strength means it was energy was getting over already it was over and so he is questioning what could i do what to do he couldn't think of what to do okay now paragraph number 9 at my slightest movement the snake would strike me death lurked 4 inches away suppose it struck what was the medicine i had to take there were no medicines in the room i was but a poor foolish and stupid doctor i forgot my danger and smiled feebly at myself see he knew that he cannot do and he couldn't do anything because even if slightest movement the snake would strike me is telling so slightest movements just a small little movement usually they say whenever you are with the, faced with the uh, this wild animals or the wild creatures you should not move you have to pretend as if you are dead no life they won't strike you and so he is telling if i moves little it would strike me and he said death lurked 4 inches away lurking meaning is just moving around waited death is waiting just 4 inches remember in the left left shoulder close to his cheek and suppose it struck what to do what medicine should take you see so many thoughts going on in his mind there was no medicine in the room and he considered himself you see what he says i am i was a poor foolish and stupid doctor because there is no medicine and he i forgot the danger and smiled feebly at myself feebly means weak smile that is such a foolish i am a so foolish and smile oneself at oneself okay he forgot about the danger that snake is there and now he concentrating concentrating on himself that you see i am so stupid doctor now suppose the snake uh, strikes what medicine to take there is no medicine in the house it seemed as if god appreciated that the snake turned its head it looked into the mirror and saw its reflection i do not claim that it was the first snake that had ever looked into a mirror but it was certain that the snake was looking into the mirror you see it seemed as if god appreciated that as if god liked that he humbled himself you know humility and that i am good for nothing and he fell he felt as if god liked that because simultaneously at the same very moment as he is thinking this side that i i have nothing i am a stupid doctor at the same time the snake turned its head towards what it looked into the mirror and saw its reflection and it started unwinding itself and looking towards it towards the mirror and therefore he says as if god appreciated that because it happened same time when he was thinking what to do if it strikes i am such a foolish and such a stupid doctor same time the snake's attention went towards the mirror and he is questioning saying was it admiring its own beauty do not know whether the snake was admiring appreciating its own beauty was it trying to make an important decision about growing a mustache or using eye shadow and mascara or wearing a vermilion spot on its forehead you see all these different questions came into the mind of the doctor was it admiring its own beauty was it trying to make important decision whether to grow mustache or no like himself you remember doctor says he had decided to keep his the small mustache very fine to look more attractive and so or using whether to use or no eye shadow and mascara what is mascara means is a cosmetic used for darkening and thickening the eyelashes usually the girls would do to make more beautiful and attractive so whether the snake was thinking this side this type of thought he do not know or wearing a vermilion spot on its forehead vermilion means the bright red color no spot on the forehead okay so you see how many questions coming into the mind of the doctor whether the snake was admiring its own beauty whether it was trying to make a decision about whether to grow mustache or no whether to use eye shadow and mascaras or no whether to put vermilion spot on his forehead or no this type of question was coming into the mind of this doctor paragraph number 10 i did not know anything for certain what sex was this snake was it male or female i will never know for the snake unwound itself from my arm and slowly slithered into my lap from there it crept on to the table and moved towards the mirror perhaps it wanted to enjoy its reflection at closer quarters i was no mere image cut of granite 
I was suddenly a man of flesh and blood. Still holding my breath, I got up from the chair. I quietly went out through the door into the veranda. From there, I leaped into the yard and ran for all I was worth. You see, how to know the snake mind? Whether it wanted, it was admiring its own beauty or taking decision about itself. He is telling he did not know anything, not even, he says, not knowing whether the snake was male or female, what sex it was. You know, the snake charmer, surely they know. Also those who are lover of snakes, the wild animals, those who are doing these studies on animals, surely they know which is male and female. Okay, but he is telling, I never knew and I will never know also in future, he says, because by this time, you see what the snake did? It unwound itself, winding, unwinding means what? Unwound. You see, underline there. Unwound means it was coiled itself, you remember. Now it is trying to loosen it, coming out of his left arm and slowly slithered into my lap. You see, again, danger is not gone. Slithered means it moved quietly. You know, the snake uh, crawling is slithering. Okay, it slithered, moved slowly into my lap. Imagine, will the fear go from the from the shoulder? Now it came to the lap. And but then from there it crept onto the table. Crept, creeping means it moving. The snake doesn't walk, it creeps. Okay. It crept, lizard, creeping. Okay, they are called creeping animals. So it crept into the table and moved towards the mirror. Remember on the table there was a mirror. It went towards the mirror. Perhaps he thinks. The, the doctor thought, wanted to enjoy its reflection at closer quarters because from far it has already seen. Perhaps he thinks it wanted to enjoy its uh, beauty from the closer. I was, he telling, I am not a simple uh, granite, not a piece of stone. Though he became like a stone, couldn't move, but telling I was not a stone. Suddenly became man of flesh and blood. All reflection, all realization, all feeling came. And so still holding the breath, got up from the chair, Quietly went out through the door into the veranda and from there he, I leapt into the yard. Leapt means ran into the yard and ran for all that, all I was worth. Means whatever capacity he had, whatever whatever capa um, whatever strength he had, he ran. Understood? Phew! Each of us heaved a sigh of relief. Somebody asked, Doctor, is your wife very fat? You see, phew! Means it's, a, it's a sigh of uh, just... Um, uh, heavy breathing thank god understood few such a with the fear no now the story is over and so everybody gave this expression few and they heaved a sigh of relief heaved a sigh of relief means the breath a sigh of relief and someone asked you remember he is actually narrating the story to his friends remember that one summer evening doctor is your wife very fat you remember on uh, paragraph number you see there uh, paragraph number six, he wanted to marry a fat woman, do remember? And now in the group, his friend, someone is making fun. They want to divert the topic. And so telling, is your wife very fat? And doctor is answering, you see paragraph number 11. No, the doctor said, God willed otherwise. That means something opposite. My life companion, life companion means wife, is a thin, reedy person with the gift of a sprinter. Can you imagine? Thin, reedy person means like a stick, very thin, and with a gift of sprinter. Sprinter means who can run very fast. It's a runner. Understood? Sprinter, he says. Because he thought he will marry a person, fat lady, who um, the reason he gave was what? So that when he makes some mistake and uh, he needs to run away, she should not be able to run after me and catch me. This is what his um, intention was. But then God will, God provided someone just the opposite. Someone else asked, Doctor, when you ran, did the snake follow you? Whether the snake followed you? Now they want to know whether what happened to the snake. Someone is asking about the wife. Someone is asking about the snake. And what answer he gives? You see here, the doctor replied, I ran and ran till I reached a friend's house. Immediately I smeared oil all over myself and took a bath. I changed into fresh clothes. The next morning at about 8.30, I took my friend and one or two others to my room to move my things from there. But we found we had little to carry. Some thief had removed most of my things. The room had been cleaned out. But not really. The thief had left behind one thing as a final insult. You see here, doctor is telling, no, snake, whether snake came behind or went, 
he doesn't know anything because he ran till he reached his uh, friend's house and after reaching to the friend's house as he did you see he smeared oil over myself smeared means he applied oil because snake had climbed on him naturally so he applied oil all over his body took out the clothes he had a bath and changed into fresh clothes surely of friends clothes and the next morning around 8:30 with the friend and others they went to the room to remove his things because don't want to stay there any more remember it was a it was a raw house it was a kacha house remember with a roof and then rats and all this were there no electricity so he wanted to move there but then they had little to carry because what has happened here you see again you know uh, some some fun something happened what has happened the thief had removed most of my things how thief has removed remember he had kept the room open and he had ran out of fear naturally door was open at midnight some thief had come and they had cleaned out cleaned out here means carried everything but not really he's telling he had left something one thing as a final insult as if to insult him one thing he had left and everybody is asking what was that i asked you see what was it and the doctor said my vest vest here means the banyan okay the undergarment the banyan the dirty one the fellow had such a sense of cleanliness the rascal could have taken it and used it after washing it with soap and water you see what he is now he is scolding to this robber the dirty one he did not arrest everything left took taken away except one thing and that was his vest and he is telling fellow the robber had such a sense of cleanliness because it was a dirty so he did not take but then the doctor is telling he could have taken it and used it after washing it with soap and water just a humoristic remember it is a humoristic uh, story and so this is what he is telling about this robber did you see the snake the next day doctor that they went with the friends so they are asking did you see the snake next day the doctor laughed i have never seen it since it was a snake which has taken with its own beauty it was taken up you know it was completely attracted with you know taken with that means attracted attracted by its own beauty and so he never saw the snake anymore and with this we have completed the lesson my dear students i just forgot to tell you that whenever you take out the textbook you will have to have pencil with you okay and whenever i tell the meaning underline and write the meaning there in the pencil and read read again and again at least twice you read try to understand the story so that you will be able to answer whatever question will be asked in the next video we shall discuss about the questions answers thank you students